one of the biggest important things we'll be doing this year, which is writing. This is a basic description of some of the things to keep in mind. <clears throat> Being a good writer, as the little uh, meme says there, 3% tell, 97% not being distracted by the internet. There's lots of stuff that can distract you. Sometimes it's your own thoughts. As Yoda is saying there, you just got to start. Now, we will be doing a lot this year, a lot of writing, that is. That means that right here from the start, we're going to see how it can be done. And then through the year, you'll be getting plenty of chances to practice. One of the most important things, as you see here, is writing proper sentences. Now, we should not just ignore this point because it really is important. Sometimes it's difficult to avoid mistakes. So they're not proper. You see how it does not start with a capital letter. There is no punctuation either through the sentence or in it. Then you see the letter D and do is capitalized. You like cookies, question mark. Then it starts the second sentence, capital I do, comma, with milk, period. Basic sentence writing ideas, capitalize the first letter in a sentence, use punctuation at the end of sentences, and capitalize the personal pronoun I. Now, you might think I'm making too big a deal out of this, uh, but I have seen all different types of students make these basic writing uh, mistakes, and you really do need to learn how to do this part well. See, here's an example of how the lack of punctuation can cause a big problem. Let's eat grandma or let's eat comma grandma. Now, formal paragraph writing for seventh grade students. Now, this is one of the guidelines that we can use this year that we're about to see. And but, but you always remember, ask questions when you need to. So it's called the racer method. It is a good process to follow. You don't have to always follow each step, but it is a good process to follow. Sometimes we combine them the way we write the sentences. But the one thing, I'll go down to the star part. The one thing, important thing that is not in this chart is connected to when you're writing an essay of more than one paragraph, you've got to have a connection between them so that the end of one paragraph points to the other or the beginning of that second paragraph reaches back to the second. So you have a, they call it a narrative flow, kind of like a story going through it. So the first part, R, restate the question. Whenever you're writing to a writing prompt that asks a question, you restate it. You don't just mindlessly restate it, you weave it into the first sentence. Again, we'll practice all this stuff this year. Then you answer the question. Then you cite your evidence from the sources you're using. Don't worry, I'm going to give you an example up here in a minute. Then you explain your evidence. Then you recap your answer, but not just restating the thing. And never, never, never say, let me tell you. So here's an example prompt. Who was Staff Sergeant Reuben Rivers and what did he do? Well, you know something he did. If you recognize that medal, that's a medal of honor, the highest military honor that can be given in the United States. So here it is. Again, the example prompt, who was Sergeant Rivers and what did he do? Reuben Rivers was a very brave soldier of the 761st Tank Battalion, a segregated group of African Americans during World War II. In the book, Brothers in Arms, it describes how even though he and his fellow soldiers faced discrimination, they kept working to develop their own abilities and those of other soldiers going to fight the Germans. The Medal of Honor story of what he did tells how he was seriously wounded in the leg when his tank hit a mine in combat near Goubling, France. He refused to go to the doctors and took charge of another tank and continued fighting for two more days. Then he saw some hidden German tanks and tank destroyers he started toward the Germans and opened fire, saying to his commander, I see them, we'll fight them. While he was providing covering protective fire for retreating white infantry and other tanks in the field, Rivers' tank was hit and he was killed. This shows Reuben Rivers was a man 
who served his people, his buddies, and his nation, and paid the highest price. So if you stop and think about that racer method, a paragraph written like this follows all those basic patterns, and you can totally do it.